like a cold summer breeze It's moving through the room It's blowing through the room Falling down on my knees Oh, your kindness
presence is so good, God. Your presence is so good. I just kept hearing the word legacy while we were praying, while we were worshiping. Legacy, 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 legacy. Your obedience is tied to legacy. Your obedience is not just about you. It includes you. It includes blessings for you. But it is so much more than you. This is generations. Your surrender, the things you feel like you've lost, the things you feel like you've given up for your faith is setting up a legacy. You have lost your life to gain it. That's how this works. Jonathan was worshiping and he was saying, everything's going to be all right. Everything is going to be all right. Fix your eyes on Jesus. He has not forgotten. He is not surprised. And I feel like a lot of us are entering into a season of power. Serious, serious power. And actually, when I was praying this week about and asking the Lord, what do you want me to share today, God? I heard you are the head and not the tail. You will be, yes, amen. That's what I was, I was like, yes, this is where we're going, Jesus? Okay. Um, you are the head and not the tail. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are blessed going in and blessed coming out, baby. And I was like, yeah, okay, but hold on, hold on. Don't get too excited now. I felt the Lord also say, okay, but wait, read the whole scripture, please. Okay, so I'm going to read it. I'm going to read it. Okay, Deuteronomy 28. Now it shall be, if you diligently listen to and obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all of his commandments, which I am commanding you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. Hold on. Not just come upon us, overtake us. I need that kind of power in my life. I want that kind of favor, right? We're chasing favor, but here's what it's attached to. All these blessings will come upon you and overtake you if you pay attention to the voice of the Lord your God. You will be blessed in the city and you will be blessed in the field. The offspring of your body. Oh, and the produce of your ground and the offspring of your animals, the offspring of your herd and the young of your flock will be blessed. Your basket and your kneading bowl will be blessed. You will be blessed when you come in and you will be blessed when you go out. The Lord will cause the enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They will come out against you one way, but flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessings upon you in your storehouses and in all that you undertake. All. And he will bless you in the land with which the Lord your God gives you. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you will be above only and you will not be beneath if you listen to and pay attention to the commandments of the Lord your God, which I'm commanding you today to observe them carefully. Do not turn aside from any of the words which I'm commanding you today to the right or to the left to follow and serve other gods. So what I feel today is that just the reminder that the favor, the blessings, the things that are, oh, it's talking to me, I'm sorry about that. Um, it's all attached to obeying God. And we only obey God when we can hear what God's saying, right? We can't obey some a direction that we don't know about. So I feel that the Lord will be prompting you to come near, to draw near, draw near. When God, when God wakes you up before your alarm, 
Maybe that's an invitation, right? It's a season of divine strategy, and we need that divine strategy to bring forth what God wants to do in our lives. We cannot just sit back and be like, I go to church once a week, and therefore, check box, that's going to be enough. We need God to guide us here, and then maybe tomorrow it's here, right? So let's position ourselves. We want the end, so let's do what we need to do today to draw near to the Lord and he will give us everything everything nothing we will not lack anything so Jesus we love you we thank you for this opportunity God we thank you that in this moment this is where breakthrough happens we thank you for the church we thank you for this this building that we're able to break chains in this building God that you are freeing us that you are delivering us that you're reminding us of our purpose we do not take it lightly that we get to be here God this is an opportunity and it is a privilege and thank you thank you for showing up today God help us to remember that we can encounter you tomorrow the next day and the next day it is our heart's position to invite you in and we say yes to everything you have for us God in Jesus name Amen. 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 Woo! We're at church today. Yes. Oh my goodness. I done cried all my makeup off, y'all. Thank God for fake eyelashes. Can I get an amen? <laughs> right? Am I? Jen, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right. My name is Nicole. You guys already had a seat, when that, and that's perfect. My name is Nicole, um, and on behalf of the team here, we just want to welcome you to church. Thanks for being here. We also want to say hello to our online family. Thanks for checking in online. Woo -woo. I know there's people from all over the world that, that tune in online, so if you're with us, please type in the chat where you're from. We'd love to know. Um, we also want to remind folks we are still in the pandemic. We still need to follow all the rules of the pandemic, so please keep your masks on while you're indoors. We really appreciate that. Oh, that's there too, great. Um, hi, buddy. My kids are waving in the back. Hi. Talk about legacy, right? Amen. All right. So we have an opportunity to give today. Is anybody excited about that? Yes. Yes, so there's a couple ways to give. They're in the back of the screen here. I won't, re I won't review those all, but these are sort of uh, just different ways. If you prefer to give in person, we do have ushers that are coming down with the offering envelopes. We also added a third contactless way to give. We have a table right in the back, right to the left of the doors, um, and there's offering envelopes there as well. And then there is an offering box, so you can just fill that out on your way and you can slip that in the box. So I was thinking about giving, and actually what I was thinking about was how grateful I am for this, this church, Expression 58. I think I've been here for about five years. Can't believe it's been that long. And I don't know about you, but I have gone through a very challenging five years. There have been a lot of transitions in my life. There's been a lot of hard things. Um, I may cry. Just, just going to keep going with the tears today. Um, I think like we're talking about finances, right, in this series. And we can have an overview of generosity and all those things. But sometimes I think it's, we can come across a barrier where it's, which is like, why do we need to give to a church though? Like, why do we need to give to a church? Why can't I just give to like something else, not here? And I was thinking about all the ways that I have encountered God powerfully through Expression 58, through the women's ministries, through the worship nights, through the church services like this, that it truly has changed my life. And so, and actually just in fact, last Sunday, last Sunday, where it was an Expression uh, worship night, and I was like boo-hooing, and Jen had her hand on me, and. I was crying through my mask and it just keeps going. You know what I mean? We, I just keep getting filled up. And 
We need to have a heavenly spiritual perspective of, of what's happening when we give. This is not just to keep the lights on, guys. This is doing something. This is changing people's lives. Again, legacy. This is trajectory. This is generations. People's lives are being healed. Addictions are getting, people are getting free of addictions. You know what I'm saying? This is serious stuff. So when you give, you're giving to that. You're sowing into people's destinies. You're sowing into freedom. And that is powerful. So let's just pray over the offering really quickly. And if you have your offering envelope or you have you know, your phone that you're giving, maybe just hold it, something symbolic. We're just gonna pray. Jesus, we thank you for the opportunity to give. We thank you that this is not, that this is a heavenly act. This is a spiritual act. We are doing spiritual warfare when we're giving, God. Help us to see it like that. Sometimes we don't see the giving in that way. We ask you to bless the money that's coming in today. Bless all the finances for Expression 58. I just know that this is good soil. We are sowing seed into good soil here. So multiply it, God. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Amen. Okay. Um, the off. They're going to come by and uh, pick up your envelopes if you do have them. And now we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on in the life of the church. We are in life group season, or life group season is about to start. Anybody signed up for life? Hey, hootie hoo, who said that? I know Jason. Hey, hey, I see some life group leaders in the house. Um, okay, life groups are starting February 20th, uh, and they go until through May 14th. Uh, you can check out expression58.org forward slash life groups to kind of get peruse sort of the, the various life groups that are available and you can sign up there. And I was, I was looking through it today and I was like, oh my gosh, there's some really, really great groups and really great leaders this, this quarter. Like there's so many good options. There's, um, there's something for everyone really. So if you want to, Uh, so yeah, check it out, get connected. It's an amazing way to build a community. 